Hi guys, Brain here and welcome to another commentary video. Today I want to talk about kind of like the very subtle controversy, because it's not really a controversy, but it's a, it's a thing, it's a talking point that a lot of people have been talking about lately, is that Behavior has put out a lot of back-to-back -back killers that are very, very complicated, or at least have a higher skill floor than average, and the community has been expressing some fatigue with this and expressing that Dead by Daylight uh, good old behavior should probably slow down or at least pump the brakes when it comes to high skill floor characters. So if you want to talk real quick about what that is and what I think about it, let's go ahead and sit down and have a chat about it. So uh, first off, I just want to very briefly cover what I'm talking about, the high skill floor thing, because sometimes people, like I use those terms very like, like all over the place, but you know, maybe it's important that I explain that first. Uh, high skill floor is it just means that it's harder to get good at this character you've probably heard this in relation to skill ceilings which is like the maximum potential of a killer uh but skill floor just means like how good do i have to get at this character how much time do i have to invest in understanding do i have to get before i start getting results dracula obviously being the new kid on the block that is fairly uh, a little bit more complicated to understand they have three forms so you have to essentially learn three mini killers at the same time especially when it comes to like the wolf uh hug tech stuff when it comes to the hellfire what it can and can't hit over learning its travel time learning to trick people with it there's a lot that goes into learning and getting good at dracula so it's a character that needs that investment to get the most out of it uh i <laughs> infamously uh was having a really bad time on dracula the first day because um on the ptp um for the character a lot of people did not really uh know how to play against the character yet so it didn't really matter that the character skill floor was high because i didn't have to get good with them yet <laughs> because people just didn't know how to play against them but uh when people you know when it hit live uh people were really good at counterplaying the character uh so i needed to hit that skill floor enable in, in order to, to defeat my opponents um so that journey was rough but once i got there it was really, really fun i really enjoyed the character a lot and um yeah but like having to go through that for like a lot of recent releases so going into like vecna uh chucky without manual scamper can be pretty complicated obviously xenomorph pretty complicated um there's a lot of uh, unknown can be fairly complicated too um there's a lot of like characters that like have higher skill floors that have been released in like the past six months and while there are ways that you can play, play these characters very like simply like obviously if you're playing against bad players against dracula you just wait for them to drop the pallet or vault the window and you just hellfire over it and hit them for free <laughs> uh, you can you can just play wolf just by pouncing room you don't have to learn the hug tech stuff if the players are just bad but players that actually play this game a lot um are having to put in a lot more um investment to be good at these characters and i think people are just tired just fatigued i would say though in terms of like the hot take coming from me the th the, the meat and potatoes of this video so to speak is that i think it makes sense that they're making the characters as complicated as they are and are making them like this for such a long period of time because i don't know if you guys are aware you probably should be at this point but dbd is kind of a really really old game uh it came out in 2016. yeah this this game is going on nine years old it's pretty old and that means the people that have been playing this game have been playing it for almost a decade. <laughs> that's not me. I started playing in 2020, but um, that's still a, a really, really long time. That's four years at this point. So players have upwards of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10K hours. I just saw uh, someone on Twitter today hit 10K hours in Dead by Daylight, which is an incredibly long amount of time to spend in anything, much less a video game. So realistically, the people that have stuck with Dead by Daylight for a long time and make up a lot of its population are people that have played the game and have a ton of hours. So they are players that, for simple killers, it's kind of like, I wouldn't say boring, but it's kind of like, like, eh, you know? Like, if I have all of this, like, info and all of this skill in the game that I've built up over the course of thousands and thousands and thousands of hours, dropping a simple killer is probably not going to interest me nearly as much as somebody who has a lot of bells and whistles like Dracula. I think the, the reason that Dracula appeals a lot to players that have played the game for a really long time is because all of their forms have a lot of similarities to other killers that exist, right? Like Hellfire is kind of a weird mix between Xenomorph, Pyramid Head, and Nemesis's uh, like ranged attacks and it's kind of a mixture of all those uh the wolf form is kind of a weird mixture of like wesker-esque old blight kind of text that you were able to do um and obviously the bat form is most commonly compared to spirit 
um, because obviously you have to get used to hearing people and tracking people uh, without actually being able to see them. So you kind of have to have some skill and expertise at a bunch of different killers or at least a fundamental understanding of how to get the most out of them in order to play Dracula at maximum efficiency. And of course that rewards players that have spent a long time with the game and at least have some surface level knowledge about all the characters that I just mentioned. Um, same with like a Vecna, another great example of a character that, you know, there's four spells and you have to know what circumstances are the best to use all four spells and not leave the spells just sitting in your inventory doing nothing <laughs> and keep using them uh, but also knowing the best times to use them. I see so much in the match reviews. Somebody will send a Dispelling Sphere for like no reason. They'll just send it uh, at somebody, even though they had like barbecue, so they knew they were over there. I don't know why they did that. Or they'll send it to dispel somebody's items, but they don't even have items on. They didn't look over at the HUD. <laughs> like there's, it's very easy to like screw up uh, something like that. And getting to know four different powers and how to use them correctly is complicated. But once again, benefits players that have invested a lot of time in the game, which is a lot of them at this point, because the game is fairly old. So it's not like there's a lot of very, very big influxes of new players. Um, probably our last big one was uh, the Resident Evil original chapter uh, with Nemesis. Wesker kind of brought a little bit in. Uh, we're definitely going to have one next year. <laughs> we're definitely going to have one next year with Five Nights at Freddy's, um, which is why probably whatever killer that drops with that needs to be simple themselves. But realistically, the the long the, the people that make up most of the players in Dead by Daylight have been playing this game for a really long time. So releasing simple killers probably is not going to interest them, really, because they just it's just not as interesting, not as skill expressive. That's another aspect of this that I did want to touch on is that like complicated killers um, allow players to express their skill. Right. I think this comes up a lot when it comes to like the Xenomorph as a character uh, in particular because I see so many players play the Xenomorph and just like W people down to M1 them or wait to get them into a locked animation like a pallet or window to use the tail attack. And they'll pass like four or five objects that they can realistically hit their tail attack over and end that chase in half the time. But they it's just like, it doesn't even occur to them because they just want to play uh, a simple killer. <laughs> so they just like W down the survivors, don't use their power that much and make their lives a whole lot worse. Um, Whereas obviously there's, like I said, there's plenty of situations where the Xenomorph can just hit over something uh, or strafe in an open area and just like shut down the chase like really, really quickly. DVD players like stuff like that. Stuff that they can use if they're smart, if they know, if they have the skill to end chases in half the time, if not less than somebody who just wants to charge at somebody and W them down. I, the first character I ever enjoyed in DVD was Myers. Because Halloween is my favorite horror movie. Alien is my favorite horror franchise, but Halloween is my favorite horror movie. Um, but I got bored of Myers because By Myers is literally, I stare at them and then I am one. <laughs> like that is the character. He is so bare bones to his discredit at this point. He is so bare bones that like, I just, I have no interest in playing him. He is literally one of my favorite horror IPs of all time. And I have zero interest in playing him because he is so mechanically rudimentary that there's nothing flashy, there's nothing interesting, and players that just want a W key and pre-drop will beat me nine times out of 10, no matter how good I am at the game, and it's just not interesting. I want to have something like a tail attack, like a hellfire, like a wolf hug tech that'll help me circumvent chase against people that just want to uh, play boring and safe and want to have the tools to handle that which if you release uh, a very, very simple killer, they will likely not have the tools to deal with that because usually when it comes to anti-pallet or anti-window or anti-loop um, resources in general that killers can do, uh, usually that requires some sort of skill input because if it was just super easy, uh, it would make everybody miserable, uh, citing the manual scamper on Chucky. <laughs> manual scamper on Chucky was a perfect example of this because it was something that, despite the fact that it was so strong and surveyed and chased so well, it was only a singular button. You just hit space bar and now you just win the chase because, well, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna pre throw this pallet. Okay, well, now I'm here. <laughs> I just slide under and now you're dead. Um, so like you, like we've tried that essentially is what I'm trying to say. We have tried that. We've tried making, um, anti-loop super simple and it was, it, it was miserable. <laughs> it, like Chucky was my least favorite killer in the game to face. And to this day is probably my least favorite killer to face in the game that has existed. Like I, 
if Maiden Skipper ever comes back, comes back to the game, I'm not going to play Survivor. <laughs> because, like, I hated losing for no other reason than somebody hit one button. It was silly. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to kind of play Devil's Advocate a little bit because I know there is fatigue with uh, having complicated characters released. And I do think that we do need to uh, move uh, at least in a couple ways, like a couple examples, like start putting a couple uh, instances of simple killers into the game, especially as we get closer to the FNAF release, because we're going to have a huge uh, character or character, a huge player count increase from that. Um, and obviously the character drops with that should probably be simple as well. Um, but for most players, uh, something complicated is what we prefer because we've been here a while. So I just kind of wanted to explain why they're like be even, even thought it was a good idea because to me it makes sense but that's gonna be it for today's video friends thank you so much for watching what do you guys think do you think that behavior needs to implement more simple killers into the game or do you think it makes sense that they're implementing more complicated killers let me know but on that i will see you in tomorrow's video because i do upload daily but if i do not i'll see you when i see you goodbye